Welcome back. Here is a really quick run through comparison of two of the most popular free themes in Kajabi, the premier theme and the momentum theme. So when you head into your actual course, in Kajabi, you'll see this outline tab here. This is where all of the content goes, videos, lesson text, um, PDFs that you wanna attach to lessons. All of that goes here. Then in the customize tab, the theme is how you decide how you want that content to actually be displayed to your students. So we're gonna look at two of the most popular free themes. The first one is the momentum, sorry, premiere theme. And this is what the premiere theme looks like out of the box, um, kind of before it gets customized with fonts, colors, things like that. So you'll notice on this course page, there's the option to have this hero section with an image and a little description of your course or membership and a button that will either say start course or resume course, depending on if they've already started. Then down below, you have the option to add, it's not shown here right now, but above this category section, some welcome information. You could have a welcome video or just a short snippet of text welcoming them to the course, or you can dive straight into the categories, aka modules, right here. So the categories are displayed with the thumbnail images right on this main dashboard screen so they can peruse it. If they are going to start at the beginning, they would just start there or they could skip around to find the lesson that they want to begin with. And then finally on this right hand side, it has the options to kind of track their progress, how many lessons they've completed. And it has some instructor information if you want to include that as well. You can also add additional images and text here, linking to things like a private Facebook group, if you have one, or your Instagram or podcast, whatever you want to highlight for your students um, that might be outside of the course content itself. When you click into an actual lesson in the Premiere theme, um, They'll choose their lesson here. This one, this category has two lessons and it'll bring up the lesson content. So the video for them to watch or if it's an audio file for them to listen to and then the any information, any text that you have about the lesson down here as well as any downloadable files. You have the option to turn comments on or off and then same thing here in this sidebar on the right, you can include images um, and text linking them to other places like we talked about with the Facebook group or Instagram or wherever you want to link them to. Um, the biggest drawback that you'll notice about this theme is that once you're in a lesson, there's not an easy way to get back to any other lesson. Like if you click quickly wanted to go to step five lesson, there's nowhere to click to take you directly there when you're inside a lesson. So you'd have to go back to the dashboard, find the lesson that you're looking for, and then click into that lesson. So hopping around between lessons is not quite as easy in this theme. Um, if you have a membership where it is not sequential that they're working through the content, then that can be one of the drawbacks of the premiere theme. Now let's compare that to the momentum theme. This is the same exact content, just displayed in a different way. So in this momentum theme, you'll see that you've still got a dashboard area where you can include a welcome video or welcome text. You've still got this sidebar area where you can include different images, um, linking to like a Facebook group or your Instagram or another course maybe that you're selling that you wanna highlight that might be beneficial for them. So you've still got the flexibility there, but it's not going to show the thumbnail images for all of your categories or modules on this main dashboard page. 
they're going to have to click here into categories to actually see all of the different modules in your course. Um, on the left hand side, however, you can see that there is this menu that actually shows all of the modules and all of the lessons right here over on the left hand side. And the great thing about this is that it stays there all the time. So even if they click into a lesson, like let's say that they're in step one and they're in this step one overview lesson right here, it's going to have the video for them to watch. It's going to have the same text down here. Any downloadable files um, will show up as well. But over here, if they want to jump now to step four and choosing their product theme, they just click and it takes them directly to that lesson. So with this momentum theme, it's much easier to hop from lesson to lesson if you're not going in a sequential order. Um, now with this free momentum theme, you can see that it displays all of the lessons. So if you have a lot of lessons, they're going to have to scroll through all of these in order to pick the one that they would like. Um, there are some paid themes by Penny in Your Pocket that are based on this same momentum theme layout, but it has the option to actually hide these lessons until they click on the category here and then it expands them like um, an accordion. So that can really condense condense this left-hand menu and be less overwhelming for people if you do have a lot of lessons in your course or membership. So those are really the biggest differences between the Premiere and the Momentum theme. I'd love to hear in the comments which theme you're using or if you're using different themes for different products in your Kajabi account and what you love about them.